Okay. So now this again, I re put the uh, little warning because um, I want to make sure that you understand that the gear that we have here, if you don't have the proper training, you 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 can do more damage. And I really want, I'm going to spend, again, I started a little bit with a little bit of lecture when I started, but I want to rein, uh, rein, uh, reinstate that a little bit more. There's uh, a lot of people, and I saw a few YouTube videos and everything, they would say, like, oh, I would start doing a, a tracheotomy and a, a hole in the neck and blah, 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 and I take a knife and... Uh, if you if you don't know what you're doing, and if you don't have the proper training, you can do way more damage than anything. You can actually more cu cu kill the person that you're trying to save. So please, 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 if you're gonna carry something or you're gonna do something. So for example, like if you're going to suture, get trained. Get here. Go do an EMT course. Go do a paramedic course. Go do a, uh, a physician assistant course for something. But get trained before you do something, especially if you're gonna. If we're talking about tracheotomy, and I don't know why most people talk about tracheotomy. Those are surgical uh, case. The uh, tracheotomy that I saw was done in the ICU very uh, protective and because there's a lot of organs in the middle of the neck and it can be very dangerous to do if you cut just the wrong angle so that if you cut like one way versus the other way you can literally bleed someone to death or injure like uh, uh, cut the circulation to the head you can do a lot of things so please get trained and don't carry a, a knife and a pencil just because you saw it on the movie to do it. There is device out there, but if you see, for example, uh, we'll, I'll put a link on a place where I buy most of my uh, my gear, uh, wilderness gear, well, medical gear. And uh, if you want to buy those special devices, you have to have a medical license. And, and there's a reason why, because only a doctor can really do those procedures. If you're cut in the woods and in the middle of nowhere, that doesn't mean that you're allowed to do it uh, more uh, uh, easily and because you're, there's nothing else to do. Uh, we may talk about that procedure, how it goes, but there's a legal, even in the woods or in, in anywhere, there is a legal matter that you can do and you're not above the law if you're in the woods because you're doing a procedure so try to do your best to say it but you cannot do more than what you've been trained for anyway uh, so finish with the little lecture so these are the two little device that I carry and I again I won't show the procedure here if you don't know how to do it um, I'm not I'm not showing you how to do it so this is a 14 gauge angel cat and basically the reason I carry those is uh, for two things, uh, decompression of pneumothorax. And it's in the, uh, we're, we're probably going to do a video on pneumothorax, but this is the decompression of pneumothorax. And as well, it can be used as a emergency cracheotomy. So basically, this goes in um, a place in the neck. And so there's two places. A cracheotomy, it's basically, there's a little ring, so uh, just a, a below the Adam apples there's a little space there it's kind of a little full ring it's called a cricoid and that one you can do a little procedure and put a needle in there and you can breathe for them so basically if they have an obstruction of the airway you could do it um, there's a whole kit that you can carry but then with this thing I can pretty much like access it and uh, improvise something so I can breathe for them at least for a little while Again, we're just when we started that video, we were talking about, but how long am I from uh, a procedure? So, if I'm in the middle of, of a mountain bike and I know that I'm about 45 minutes from a rescue, I may do it. If I know I'm seven days from the rescue, I may not do it. 
And the reason is that the 45 minutes, I know that, for example, uh, the, the helicopter service that I work for may be able to come and get us, or a helicopter may come and be able to rescue us. But in seven days, there's not much purpose of putting this in, because it's an emergency procedure that, and it's not a... Uh, so, I may use it sometime, but sometime I may not. But anyway, I carry it just, just because. And again... Not because I am trained in it, that I mean I have the legal right to use it. I carry it because I'll be using it with the judgment of what it is. But that means I may be put in court and have the legal consequences that comes with it. But anyway, it's, the gear is in there and so in, a, in case that I need to use it. The other... Um, device over here and that's the one I know it's a new uh, add-on to my kit I just